Welcome to another brief Asana training video. Today I want to talk about my use of what I call summary projects. Now, when using Asana, one of the most common issues I see new users and companies uh, make, or one of the mistakes I see them make, is when they first get started, going a bit crazy with the number of projects that you can see on the left-hand side. People kind of get started and they think, right, I need a project for this and that, and I want to plan everything out. And it's very easy to get carried away creating lots of different projects. And I totally appreciate this. I totally get it. It is one of the most common problems I see. So one of the first things I do with my clients is help them to consolidate their projects. And uh, in my recent video where I talk about my favorite features of Asana, I discuss how you can use sections and subtasks to help consolidate your tasks and your work into fewer projects, which makes things easier to manage. When you have projects, one of the other ways that you can make things easier to manage and way, one of the ways that you can um, sort of identify your high priority task is to use what I call summary projects. So a summary project is like a project which contains tasks from other projects so that you can show those tasks in a new way. So for example, here we are. This is one of my basic projects. It's called business. And I have ta uh, sections for planning, analysis, systems, e-commerce, website, just, just different kind of parts of my business really. So this is kind of one of my main projects. And you can see the other projects down here, products, sales, content. And the, up the top, I have these two summary projects. So 2017 goals and the Kanban project. Now these projects summarize the main tasks from these other projects. Now these projects don't contain any unique tasks. What I mean is that there are no tasks in here that don't exist somewhere else. So these are used purely to summarize or present tasks in a new view. So let me give you an example. Uh, here we are. This is the task I'm working on right now. I'm recording a video. You can see it's actually a subtask for the piece of content that I'm working on. And I have a couple of other tasks here. Now let's say um, the, you can see these are actually part of the business project. Now let's say we want to create a summary project for, let's say, planning weekly sprints. So let me create a new project here. And let's call it weekly sprint uh, sprint. I'm going to set this up as a list, but this might work equally well as a board as well. So let's set that up. So now we could we could create sections for uh, the weeks. So we could say uh, week one, week two, week three, and so on. Okay, so we've created some sections. Now what I might do is if we flick back to my tasks, I'm going to add, I'm going to bulk select these tasks. I'm going to uh, select one, hold shift, and select the next one. And now I'm going to add these three tasks to the weekly sprints project. So let's flick over there now. OK, there they are. They've appeared. And now what I might do is plan them and move them into different sections. So I can say uh, this task I'm going to work on in week two. And this task whoop, is week. Oh, come on. There we go. Week three. So you can see I've, I've kind of planned out these tasks in these different sections, uh, kind of different sprints, week one, week two, week three. So these are the same tasks. These tasks still exist in the business project and, uh, and, and the, the main parent task here. But they're now being shown in this summary project in a slightly different way. So I can still see them in the business project. If I click back over, I can still see them there. There they are. They haven't, they haven't moved. They don't show any differently in that project. But now by adding them to this summary project, I can just present the tasks in a new way. In this case, I'm, I'm planning out uh, weekly sprints. A couple of other ways that you can use the um, summary projects is, for example, annual goals. So here's my 2017 goals project. Have a look at my other video where I talk about working in seasons. This is the main project I use for that. So I've got sections for quarters and months, and you can pull in tasks to highlight which tasks contribute towards your big goals. I actually need to sort of revisit this project and, and plan a little bit more. This is the main summary project I've been using recently, my Kanban board. And here you can see like hire a virtual assistant, for example. This exists in my business project and it's also in my Kanban board. And so this Kanban, I've actually found that since since using this Kanban board, I've been in, been executing much more efficiently because I haven't been working on too many things at once. The way The way I use this project is that I plan kind of my main tasks over here these are all in the planning phase. I haven't actually started these. And then when I when I start work, I move them into in progress. So these are the kind of things I'm working on right now. Or well, here's something that Haley's working on. And then uh, stuff that's kind of 
holding or I'm waiting on somebody else for kind of gets moved into waiting and then finally moved into complete once the task is done. So this just helps me to minimize how much I work on at one time. I try and close my open loops here before starting something new. And so I've, I really enjoy using this particular summary project. Another summary project you might create is you could have like a meetings project, sort of uh, similar to the weekly sprints. You could have these sections as meetings and then any tasks you want to discuss as part of a meeting, you could add them in there. So you could have like Monday meeting and you could have a list of tasks from your different projects to, to kind of plan your agenda. So you've got a clear list of tasks that you need to discuss. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is a fairly basic and it's but hopefully this video has given you an idea of how you can start to use summary projects to sort of present your tasks in new and more informative ways rather than just having a list of projects where you kind of have to dive through each one to see what you're working on you can use those summary projects to um, prioritize the most important tasks and and plan your work in new ways whether it's a kanban or sprints or however you like if you need more help with Asana, then feel free to book a completely free introductory call with me today. I can learn about the specifics of how you need help with Asana, how you're currently using it, and together we can audit your account and train your team. Head on over to poolminers.com Asana.